Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth installment of Confusing Cubes 2. Brought to you by our sponsor, the like button also sub to Captain Sparkles 2 and follow on Twitch and check out the new quality content drop available now at qualitycontent.com. Like right now for everybody while supplies last. Link in the description, jacket, you can see me in a crop top and stuff. You know, that's a thing, it's on the site. So uh, anyway, what we were gonna do last time is we were gonna see what's inside of Rick's chamber. Had to end it on a cliffhanger, right? Rick is not in the brown room. I forgot what room Rick was in, the magenta room. It was the brown door. That's why I got him confused. All right, Rick, what are you hiding? Is it the vault <laughs> of the DMC, not DMCA, copyright claim money? Is this where you store the copyright claim money? I'm breaking in, Rick. I'm taking it all. This doesn't look like a vault with lots of money. What the frick, Rick? This is a shrine to the, to the dude bro, the ladder. I caramba, we're using the cap pack. <laughs> so, um, map entry number 13, date March 11th, 2021, or November 3rd, 2021, we'll never know. The first few cubes were fairly straightforward in my opinion, but how could we exploit the player to further our own agenda? I haven't a clue. It's only a matter of time until the player finds out what's really going on here. The testificates are ignorant, so perhaps they could be of use. A facade such as a cult, may prove beneficial. I call upon all the testificates residing in the brown cube, the canine who wears the black armor, surrounded with the shimmering sapphire souls of the undead, will resurrect upon the altar. Warning, only a fool would carry out the task on the previous page, or maybe I'm the fool for encouraging them. It's a doggy -dog, dog world out there, but I hope I don't have to eat my own words. P.S. Cindy fancies tridents. Oh. Oh. We didn't need to upgrade the trident until now? Until now? Oh my goodness. The Book of Knowledge. Can it break something? No. Wait, so what was the point? What was the point of the big Book of Knowledge and being able to break the lectern? Ay, ay, ay. I'm justice. I'm the knight. There's a Batman memoir. There's stuff up here. What are we gonna what are we gonna find? Oh, we're going into the mouth. Oh my goodness gracious. What the heck mid is down there? Do I drop into the esophagus? Well Burps. Nani. What is this? Was that all? What are do you wanna eat your own knowledge? Whoa, you do! <laughs> And that's where the lectern came into play. Wow, I never knew knowledge was, I mean. Wow, I never knew knowledge was as tasty. We'll meet again, Blair. Huh. That actually works surprisingly well. What do you know? Huh. You're my garage. Just got this new bookshelf here. You know what's... More fun than driving around the Hollywood Hills. Knowledge. I eat at least one book a day. It's really delicious. The fiber keeps my digestion going healthily. Level 13. Oh boy. Alrighty. Karen. Hey you. Go save my kids. No questions. Just go save them from this freaky mountain. You don't trade for anything? Okay, Karen. Well, I'm Justice. I'm Batman. So I'll do it. What the frick? Whoa. Where am I? Oh, I'm miniaturized. Oh, God. Is there a gigantic gargantuan Karen boss fight that is about to take place here? Oh, no. Mmm. Yum. What does this do? It's straight up. It's just beef. Okay. I can do big, big parkour action, though, which is pretty cool. This is me, real size. Yes, you're so right. Gaines Gaming, thank you for the sub gift. Much appreciated. Yee, bro. 
And thank you, King Clark. Wait, oh, maybe I can go underneath whatever the frick this is down here now that I'm uh, life-size. Yeah, what do we have in here? Anything? Anything? No, I cannot access this. Perhaps I need to go up the mountain. She did say something about scaling the mountain, so it does seem like a decent place to start, doesn't it? Let's keep going up. You. I am a very jumpy boy. Um, let's see. All right. The map, the map is good, mate. The map is good. Uh, oh, there looks to be a little cave over there. Ye. I'm... Oh, God. Happy. Oh, God. Wait, what the heck? How do I get... Oh, my goodness. Are you really going to do me like this? I needed to get, like, all the way to the top, apparently, to be able to make that jump. Ye is okay. We've just... We've just straightened out the... Comment thing. All right, how do I get across? There's gotta be a way. Wait, is there something to do with this bridge over here? Is that something I'm supposed to use somehow? Hmm. Um. Trying to see if there's anything like above top, maybe? I wonder if there's a way to like repress the button or something like that and like go back to normal size. Can I do like big, yeah, there's no way I can make that jump. And there's no way I can get up there. It's engineered to perfection such that it's impossible. I'm curious if I can um, make myself go back up to like... Oh, you can. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait a minute. So, okay, let me see if there's anything else. So it's still just a gold block. Wait, can I break any... I can break blocks of gold. Oh. You feel a change in the atmosphere. Oh, wait. That's something I should have done first. That would have been quite smart to do. Now I can run underneath it. Now, oh! Help, these silly bats! So get these silly bats out of my sight! I wish these nasty critters had something else to feed on besides my face! Oh, that doesn't look like a good place to fall down. So, what, uh, feed on? Oh, there you go, munchy crunchy on the steak. I've saved Billy! Billy, now is the time where we go and exit the cave. Billy? 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 Billy, are you dumb? <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm the knight. Billy! Billy, holy. God, Billy. What do you want from me, Billy? Billy, what do you want from me, dude? How far do you want me to move? Do I, wait. Do you think if I throw it down there, it... Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Good riddance, you foul mammals! Oh, and one last thing before I go. I missed my so-called friend's birthday party earlier and I was never able to drop off my present. Will you be so kind to drop it off for me? Oh, and don't look inside. It's very, very special. Ciao! Not much of a friend are you, apparently, if you're... Oh, present for Tommy. Oh. Huh. Interesting. So Billy gave it to me in miniature size. But it's gonna, it's gonna enlarge with me. All right, um, gonna give this gift to Tommy. And Tommy is gonna be like, well, I really, for my birthday, all I wanted was Billy's presence. Like, like, with a, with a C, not a, not a T. I just wanted his company, but I guess I'll take this box. There you go, Tommy. A present for me? You shouldn't... Oh my goodness, it's a bootleg firework! Why would you scare me like that? I, that was Billy, not me. Billy sucks. Karen does too, a little bit. Maybe it was inherited. What did, it, did this give me anything? Is there anything like up top? That, oh, the bootleg firework uh, did in fact open something up. No, spruce leaves can be placed on light. Gray concrete pow pow. 
this should help us out a little bit. Yeah, okay, okay. So light gray concrete pow pow. Would that be this by any chance? Up here? No, that is not it. There must be something that I put down there though. Like, oh, it is this. Wait, what is this gonna do to help me at all? Hmm? Oh. You feel a change in the atmosphere. I don't know what changed. What changed? Did Karen have two children? Are there two Karen spawns in the world here that we have to contend with? Hey, I don't like that too much. So, uh, what, what changed? Is it just like I can get up here, I guess? And then from here I can get up to more places? I guess... Up the tree we go, or something like that. Big uppies. Oh, I see. We have to. We do have to cross the chain. I had a feeling that was going to come into play. All right. Are we going all the way up, or are we going back down again? Oh, I see what's happening here. This seems like a bad idea. Why am I doing this for Karen? <laughs> it's the freaking Lorax. And the freaking Lorax is wearing quality content clothing because the Lorax knows what quality is. I'm the Lorax and I speak for only this tree. This tree needs your help. Its roots are infested with lethal termites. And if these termites aren't eliminated, the disease will soon take this tree. I ask that you fulfill your duty as an aerobic organism and save this tree. Okay. Termites, huh? Oh, look, the tree has eyes and a mouth that I'm going in. Oh, what? No... Not, not, not silverfish. What the, f what is happening here? What the frick? Bruh. Is this a moving mi- Bruh. I don't like this mi- Frick off! I do not like this moving maze. It, I don't understand. Why is it like this? Why are the walls doing what they're doing? No, okay. I did not sign up for it. It, this was engineered specifically to be the worst. It's a maze with moving walls that also has silverfish inside of it. Like, I'm 99% certain that it could not get worse than that. Okay, there's silver, silver, some silver fricks over here. I heard, I heard him, I, heard, I hear a man's over here. Frick off! Wait, wait, one more is back over here. Waiting for this. Waiting for this. I'm just trapped. Okay, cool. Ah, we did it. Termite eliminated. Thank you for your help. This tree greatly appreciates it. As a token of my gratitude, I shall bestow upon you this tree's kidney stone. It's very kind of you, Mr. Lorax. Thank you for this kidney stone. Is it time to go now? It is time to go. I'm I'm gonna take my kidney stone and exit. Um, Mr. Lorax, how do I exit the tree? Is it over here? Is the, is there a place to go? How do I get out of the tree? So, how do I get out of the tree? Is there a place to put the kidney stone inside the tree? Like, do I return it to the tree? Do I get a gift receipt for this? Or... Or do I just... 
<laughs> I'm gonna exit this way. That's good. That's I, I don't know if that's the intended way to do it, but I'm just gonna go that way. Yep, that works too. Cool. Great. Now that'll work. Um, okay, so the, is that is that this up here? Is that oh you feel a change in the atmosphere. I just fought termites for a kidney stone for you, Karen. I'd just like you to know. I know it doesn't make a difference to you, because you feel entitled to the help. But I just still feel like you should know. Billy, don't learn things from your mother. You're already a terrible friend to Tommy. I don't know why Tommy puts up with you. But he's not going to much longer, unless you stop acting after your mother. All right? Be better. You're our nation's future hope. Not your mother. She's already just made it worse. Okay. All right. Um, let's go and um, find the other spawn up here. Uh, now we should be able to make the jump, right? Hopefully. Fingies crossed. Hopefully, fingies crossed. Oh, it's looking like it might. Is this it? Oh, frick. Nope, that's not going to be it. Uh, how am I going to make it across there? Can I do it? Wait, how am I going to do the. Wait, frick. Oh, wait, I know how. I'm going to go to here, and then I'm going to go to here, and then I'm going to go to here, and then. <laughs> yeah, now he makes that jump. Let's go. And um, is this where the other. Oh, God! This is where the other child is. Hello, child. Patricia, what have you done? I've been chiseling away this wall for 13 whole minutes. Now you buried my only ticket out of here. It looks like my geothermal heating unit is shut off too, so prepare to become an icicle. Huh, do I have anything that can break ice on me? I don't really. Um, hmm, don't worry. I've got some caves up here, Patricia. I'll find something that can help. At least you're just like, you know, in a state of suspended animation, right? And and you're actually not even aging. Um, wait, there's something that can be placed on Gilded Blackstone, or can break Gilded Blackstone. Ah! There's the heating unit. Heating is it's coming right on down. To, yeah, there we go, okay. Yeah! Oh, that's better! Well, back to chipping away at this enormous wall! Oh man, I miss being normal size. Um, how, how do I actually get you out of here? Do I have something I can break? That, it's going to be really sad if I manage to get in here and I'm supposed to have something that can break bricks, but in fact I don't. Oh, there's that. That's so convenient. Can break one cracked stone bricks. Do we think this will take the whole wall down? Uh... Is that not a cracked stone bricks? Hmm. Where would the cracked stone bricks be located then? Um, oh, you go bigly and then you, that's smart actually, that's smart. You come back and then you free, yep. Using the level select as a mechanism like that is, is smart. It's big, big smart, big brain. I'M FREE! It's a good thing I have the magical, uh, right angle runs only. Right angles for safety. My children! Thank heavens you're safe! Thank you for saving them! Now get out of my sign! Cool. Oh, rebooting system. Wow. We're in the last room. Welcome to my room, Captain Sparkles. I am a mechanized autonomous remote camera, but you may call me Mark, if you so please. I have been keeping my ocular perceiver on you for a while now, and regret to say I'm not impressed with your abilities. Let us commence forth. This task will compute your astuteness. Without stepping on any of the shulker boxes, please reach the polished andesite block in the middle of the room. How would I do a thing like that? And if I, do I get reset if I, okay, I get reset there. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Scaffolding. Surely it will let me take the scaffolding. This is cyan terracotta. Surely it's going to let me take the scaffolding from Cynthia and bring it here. Right? Right? Um, let me do this. And... Okay, so if I go here... Well, that's some ball sacks right there. Okay. Um, hmm. Right? So... Uh, is there a way to do this? Wait, am I gonna just lose it the instant I go? Frick. Okay. Um. I really thought I was big braining it with that. That there was like a way around this, because it is definitely cyan terracotta. Uh, all right. Hmm. Congratulations, you have completed an effortless task that is equivalent to earning a participation award. I noticed several flaws with your technique, but your cognitive abilities are far too feeble for you to comprehend my criticism. This subsequent task is one of my favorites. I presume you have heard of the infamous game Lights Out? Your objective is elementary. Fill all nine tiles with red flooring. Be cautious, for every wrong move you make will increase the difficulty. Huh. Do I actually play this one? Or... Oh, when I get back here, does it spawn me in the middle of the room? Huh. That's funny. That was easier than I thought. So... Wait. How do I... Uh... Oh, they're pressure plates. I see. It was hard to see the, the border, so it kind of looked like they were just stone blocks in the center. But now I see. Okay. Oh, God, dude. Um... Yeah, I've never been good at these before. I assume it actually wants me to like do this one here. Um, I hope there's a reset ability here, but probably isn't. Oh, I guess the way to reset would just be that turns them all off. Oh, what do you, how do you do this? Do you like start in the corners or something like that? There's gotta be like just some like easy algorithmic way that you freaking do this thing. And I do not know what it is, except I do now. <laughs> I have seen my mushrooms perform this task more efficiently than you. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. You have left me with no other alternative, Captain Sparkles. You must be terminated for the greater good. You don't have to do that, though. You really don't have to do that. Ow, that freaking hurts. Can break the glass. Wait, what am I going for? Uh, can break purple stained glass pane. I is that in the purple room? Probably. It's not here. Well, enjoy your time shooting at things. I'm gonna go elsewhere. Um, do we think that it would be like in here? Oh, it would be in here. Oh, but it's pains. Oh, there's pains. What do you want from me? Oh, what? Can something be placed on this? Wait, oh, there's more stuff. Oh, there's more things. Oh, I get to go places. Oh, I get to, I get to move. I get to groove. I get to do things and discover new areas. I knew there was something more to this room. There was like too much stuff in here for it not to be put to use, right? Way too much stuff in here. Yeet balls! That's obnoxious. The pain. I feel so much of it. Everything is pains. Purple ones. To be clear. And to think I just solved the red light game in the minimum number of moves. And then proceeded to do this. It's because I'm doing head hitter jumps when I don't need to be doing head hitter jumps. Why did I do head hitter jumps? Because I was too lazy to break the next pain. And... Therefore, I caused myself pain, which is embarrassing, really. Oh, hello, Shulk. Flask of Gravitonium. Walter. <laughs> is that Gravitonium I smell? Quick, 
Give it to me. We don't want to have a, another incident. You trade for it? You want me to actually give it to you? Okay. Whew. That could have been disastrous. I hope you didn't touch the flask with your bare hands because um, getting contaminated with this stuff is not forgiving. I once knew a guy who couldn't ingest any fluids without going airborne. Hey, you should go for a drink at the bar for scientific purposes, of course. Really, you want me to go to the bar? So you want me to... Wait a minute! That's how I get to the top of the bar! It all makes sense now! Oh my god! Dude. Okay, for all of the uh, not knowing what to do's that we had in the beginning, it's all really coming to... Like, it's all really coming together now. Bruno, make me a drink, dude! How do I get him to make me a drink? That's what I need to know. Wait, this one has like... They all, oh wait, they're all just end things, so yeah, of course they have sparkly fluids. Um, Bruno, how do I get a drink, dude? What the frick is up? Wait, I have, wait, hold on. I have one glass bottle. Do I fill it with water? Do I just fill it? Are these, okay, wait, I have a water bottle. so good, dude. I wonder if I could have done that earlier. Could I have done that earlier? I wonder if it would have worked the same way. Lucas says, hey, you want to destroy some cameras? Oh, we got the antivirus software. I see. I can break the camera. Look, yo, the map makers, they having a conversation back there. That's the head honcho room for the big bosses. Although he's also down there. It's kind of weird that there's two of them in here. Anyway, Luca. I'm coming back. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna break some cameras, mate. We're gonna break some cameras. You just watch. This is gonna be pretty sick, dude. Alright, I got two gold for you. I got two gold. Alright, we're gonna bring this home here, mate. We're gonna bring this home. Oh, I get the I get the glass bottle back every time. Wait, how long ago could I have done this? What the frick? I just keep getting it back? Okay. Wow, dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, yo, Luca. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Appreciate you. Alright. It's time to break a camera, bro. It's time to commit crime. Not actually that, though, YouTube. Please don't demonetize this video for... Hey, you wanna know something funny? Um, the last stone block episode that went up on YouTube, it, uh, it got demonetized. Presumably because we said something about reactors that do things with atoms in them, and it didn't like that for some reason. Um, actually, you're right, I need to levitate up there. That's, that's a good call. That's a very good... Good call. Let me get another bottle ski. There we go. Yeah. I can't think of anything else, because I remember the comments on that were, like, talking about the the reactor that does things with atoms, and, um, now I'm thinking that YouTube was basically like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's just getting a little bit too political now for us. Please do not deactivate me, Captain Sparkles. We can be the best of friends! That's actually kind of mean that you would do this. I really don't like the fact that you had to go and give the camera like a personality. It is also trying to shoot me at the same time, so I guess there's that. Hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark! Oh, it opened the thing. Oh, is it actually just... Pay no mind to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> like that exorcist turn, dude. Well, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> All right. Oh, bye, Mark. Ah, oh, what is this? Game show? Oh my god, dude, we have a game show on our hands? This is so cool. It's the final room, and you're the lucky contestant, Linus. Gold coins for a- Oh, so I have to get to 64 gold coins. Can you spare me some change? Oh, I got this. All right, bouncer. Whoa. Hold on there a minute, pal. We need to search you for contraband before you enter. 
Please empty your pockets. They just took everything. You took everything from me. Everything. I don't have anything anymore. Whoa, lights, camera, freaking action. This is crazy. What yeah. the? Wally says, Chant, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the best night of your lives. I'm your host, Wally. Tonight we have a very, very special guest. Please give a wonderful round of applause to our contestant, Captain Sparkle. Let's get right into it. The rules. Rules are as follows. You'll be asked 16 questions that correlate to each of the levels you've advanced through. You will have an infinite amount of time to answer these questions, so do not feel rushed. You'll need to answer at least 14 out of the 16 questions correctly to win the grand prize. You want to use any tool at your disposal as well as access to leaving this room. There's a lot of information here. Oh my gosh, bro. What the frick? Okay, okay, okay. Um... Okay, you may also answer the question from anywhere in the map by clicking your answer in the chat. Do not worry, we'll teleport you back to the stage when you answer. You have three Wally tokens. These are your lives. Each question you answer incorrectly will cost you one token. Uh, if all your tokens are gone, you're out. If you ever need me to repeat a question, just push the button in front of me. Now let us begin. Good luck to you. Question number one. One could say that the surprises are the best kind of gift unless your gifts tend to spontaneously combust. The tiny desert with Tommy celebrated his birthday party in which room? Lime. <laughs> That is correct. Excellent job. I didn't wish him a happy birthday, and I still feel bad about it. Question number two. Beaches are known for their sand, waves, vitamin D, and even sometimes their tropical plants. How many cocoa beans are there on Flynn's Beach? Jesus. Gonna go back to the beach really quickly. Are you serious right now with that one? That's a little redonkulous. How many cocoa beans are there? Oh, uh, order some food? Sure. Okay, so we got one, two. I fall in the water. Three, four, five. Is there a cheeky hidden one, though? Uh, I feel like we don't need to necessarily overthink it too much, but I'm going to go with five. <laughs> Golly Wally. He really should have more, shouldn't he? But that's correct. Question number three. You won't find more exotic blossoms and assorted foliage anywhere other than the pink room. Which flower variant is the most abundant? Rut row spaghettios. Oh boy, this is quite the thing. Uh, you see, the issue is we've we punched some of them. Is it wild though, specifically? I hope it's wild flowers, um, because otherwise it's just gonna oof. Anyway, uh, that's double orchids, and not the ones that we took out of the pots, you know. That's double orchids. What about the Lily of the Valley? Oh, we got three Lily of the Valleys. I think it's Lily of the Valley, because there do be three of them. I'm going to go with Lily of the Valley. Correct you are! That is actually one of my favorite flowers. I have a lot of favorite flowers. Question number four. Everyone knows the Lorax, the one who speaks for the trees. According to this map, which type of tree does he speak for? Spruce! I was always more of a dark oak guy myself, but you are correct. Question number five. A compact disc CD is commonly used to store music. A lesson to all you younger folks out there. Which song did you and Rick groove to? Never gonna give you a copy strike. Never gonna let you down. That's correct. What a jam. Am I right? Question number six. Science is constantly evolving with all the new discoveries we make. In what direction is the super laser cannon currently facing? Um, well, that would be whatever the direction of, of this, which would be uh, west. I'm just making sure I can't leave. Oh, wait. I'm just making sure that I can, can I leave this way. Yeah, okay, it's it's definitely west. Definitely west, cool. Never eat soggy waffles, that's what I was taught, but you're correct, good job on that one. Question number seven, gold is admired by many, especially by the pockets of these villagers. In which level do you have an endless supply of gold? That would be yellow, right? That would be the bee room. <laughs> Money, money, money! I like money, and I also like that you got a correct good job! Question number eight. 
rules are great to abide by, and I hope you've been following them throughout the map. Which of the following rules is not at the start of the map? Watch well, it be gone now. Oh, no, it's good. Uh, 1.19.2, adventure mode. Install the resource pack. Do not intentionally use items. There was nothing about a resource pack. I added the cat pack accidentally. Ah. We considered adding a resource pack, but we ended up not doing it since it seemed pointless. Great job. Another one correct. Halfway there. Let's go, dude. Question number nine. I was speaking to Travis earlier, and he told me you nearly frightened him to death. I hope you apologize to him. In the red level, which is the third workbench you obtain? Oh, frick, dude. Oh, frick. Uh, crafting table was number one. Furnace was number two. Frick, dude. It was either anvil or smithing table. Oh God, it was either anvil or smithing table. Can I look at his trade? Would the trades be in? The trades actually were in order. So you know what? I think that solves that. It was anvil. Okay, six, 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 six. I was thinking this was when we actually had to have the memory of it, but oh, I can answer this from anywhere. It was the anvil. Bada bing, bada boom. Ever been crushed by an anvil? It sucks. Happened to me way too many times. Good job, another one correct. Question number 10. If you've watched as many adventure movies as I have, you would know that booby traps mean serious business. The wall of fire that chased you in the temple contained what color flames? Oh. You know, I tried to not look at them for a really long time. Were they blue? Was it blue flames? I think it was blue flames. Pretty sure? Let's go. You know I would love for the flames to be yellow, but it's not my choice. Another one, correct. Question number 11. I heard you pressed Walter's button. Big mistake. In what level do you attain the flask of gravitonium? Oh, that's a little poiple right there, dude. Uh, yee. I need to obtain some of that. You still have any? No? Okay. Uh, good job getting another one, correct. Question number 12. Some fear that artificial intelligence may pose a threat to society if it becomes too powerful. This was before ChatGPT came out. What a what a insightful prediction that was. Um, in your encounter with the mechanized autumn at the time of this remote control, what is the name of the villager behind the lens? Mark, 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 or Marquise? X marks the spot, am I right? Oh, funny. No? Okay, good job. Another correct one. Question number 13. I see you've assembled quite a large audience. I guess you must know a lot of people. What are the names of our two fabulous cameramen? Zach. Cody. Weren't they in a TV show? I think they were. I heard these guys last minute and they're doing pretty well. Another one correct. Question number 14. Unfortunately, the co-creator of this map, Apache, couldn't make it to the show today. Which level is the massive Apache statue connected to? Is it in the, was it in the brown room? No, 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 no. It was in the pink room. The It was in the Rick room, right? It was not in the brown room, it was the Rick room. <laughs> that was a trick question, but you didn't expect that, but you got it right. Good job, I didn't even have to look. I just remembered. Question number 15, I love building, but I tend to do it in creative mode. How many scaffolding blocks were you provided in the cyan room? Uh, I believe it was, yeah, I was gonna say five or six, but because five isn't an answer, it was six. I'm surprised you remember that. You must have a strong memory. Great job, only one left, which I could get wrong if I wanted to, because I have the lives for it. That excavation site in the orange level definitely has several safety hazards. What are the two mob skulls found in that room? We found a, definitely a skeleton. And then the other one, was there, a, was it a creeper in there? I mean, we didn't get a wither skeleton skull at all. We don't think we got a zombie skull. So it's gotta be creeper and skelly. <laughs> that one had to be really tricky for you, but you got it right, great job. <laughs> Congratulations, you've won the game. You've won the grand prize, a stack of precious gold coins. That's all for now, folks. Until next time. Wow, thank you all for tuning in. This has been amazing. I'm so glad that I could win 
and take home the prize. Now I'm going to give it to the guy out there. And um, there's potentially going to be some taxation problems to go along with that. But nobody's going to tell the IRS, right? Actually, I'm going to tell the IRS because the IRS, I'm going to tell them I don't have the money. I gave it away. And they're going to be like, well, who did you give it to? And I'll be like, the guy outside who wanted money. And they're going to be like, well, do you have his uh, tax information? And I'm going to be like, I don't because I just gave it to him. And they're going to be like, well, you still owe the taxes on that money that you don't have anymore. And I'm going to be like, So anyway, here. It's so good that you can help me into a tax predicament. Thank you so much for your generosity. May this black concrete bring you good fortune. Did we do it? Down the vertical road. Over to here. Oh, what's back here? A button. The button to win? Welcome back, subject number seven. I see your trials have been completed flawlessly. I do hope that you had an entertaining time. Our overseers are now convinced that you're suitable for the cryostasis plan. Guards, please escort subject number seven to their chamber for eternal slumber. The compliant ending? There were different endings? There were different endings? I could have not been compliant. I could have, I could have been combative. When I have multiple endings, I'm being put in a crime. What am I, Walt Disney? Get me out of here, dude. Click here to try for the other ending. Uh, retry level 15 for the alternate ending. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, hold on there, Mina Bell. I'm gonna take your item before you. Okay, okay, alternate. It did say only one alternate ending, so. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Hello, Wally. Hello. I know nothing, Wally. I know nothing at all. All right. I don't know why you would ever expect that I would know anything. I can't answer any of your questions correctly. Okay. I failed everything in school. I dropped out. I can't, I can't do anything right. I'm not going to remember anything. My short term memory loss. What the frick? Stop okay. talking so much, Wally. I can't pay attention to this. Huh. What the what the frick? Huh. Wally, this is taking so long. All right, everybody, we're back. So, um, Tommy was in the light gray room, right? Oh, oh, sorry, you got that one wrong. You lost a Wally token. On to the next one. Um, I think there were at least three cocoa beans. Wrong. Oh no, that's too wrong. You only have one Wally token left. Mmm, I saw a lot of blue orchids in there. I'm gonna go with that one. I'm sorry, but that's three wrong answers. You have lost all of your Wally tokens. Better luck next time, Captain Sparkles. Uh, Linus says, Psst, come over here. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry you didn't win the grand prize, but that's unimportant right now. They're watching us. I don't have much time, so I'll make this quick. Uh, um, yeah, you've been lied to. Us test certificates were only pawns in this diabolical plan, and I refuse to remain compliant. Now that you've failed the game show, you become disposable. If you wish to escape with your life, I recommend you listen to what I have to say. Take this button and reactivate the super laser cannon. That rotation mechanism should be located near Neil, who hopefully won't question you with any luck. The laser should penetrate the wall and grant you freedom. Good luck. Make sure to be careful. Excuse me, but you need to come with us immediately. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got a super laser cannon. Holy heck, dude. This is crazy. Is it this this is the, the freaking thing? Wait, and he said, um, um, the rotation mechanism located near Neil. Bro, this is insane, dude. That's you're not Neil. Neil before me and my ultimate powers. It's gonna be Neil's up top, right? It should be, oh, oh, it's, it's here. Is that my polished blackstone button? No. Stop what you're doing, it's against protocol. Oh, 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 that's gonna, we're gonna, yep. All right, time to fire the laser. Oh, 
Oh, we, it really did go. It really did do. All right. Halt, we're running free. We're being chased right now. He's still running in circles. Never mind. Dude has no idea. Tommy's also still in the bounce castle. You guys really, you guys really didn't see that a laser just went whizzing by all of you. Okay. That's probably better that way. Oh my God, dude. We're getting out of here. See you later. Naked armor stands. Peace out. Yo, Linus, you out here? Repaired hull damage. Welcome, Traveler. I see you've made it to what's left of the outside world. There's not much left to see. Unfortunately, the confusing cubes made the rest of the world uninhabitable. All that's left is this cube. On the bright side, it's always daytime. May I interest you in some poisonous potatoes or some mouth-watering pufferfish? The rogue ending. Pierre, Louis, and Willie. We did it, everybody. We we won. Click here to try for the other ending, which we did. That's cool. I like it when a map puts you right where you need to be in order to get both endings. That's really good. That was a very good map. That was very fun. Perfect timing, too. And uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. There is a Confusing Cubes 3 as well. So maybe we'll have to hit that up in ASAP or something like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Like the vid, sub to the channel, follow on Twitch, and I'll see you in the next one.